Before we begin, there are two things that we need to do or the calculator will not be able to solve systems of equations. The first one is to check the version of the ROM in your calculator. Version 208 will not solve systems of linear equations as far as I know. And secondly, we have to set up the HP 50G properly for it to function for this task. To find the version of the ROM, we type no apostrophes alpha alpha version kill alpha with a third alpha stroke, type enter, and there we have it. The version of the ROM in this calculator is revision 124. Revision 124 is fine, and so are revision 209 and 215. However, version 208 will not work. As far as I know, it will not solve a system of equations. It will keep giving you the message wrong dimensions or something like that. If that's your case, I recommend that you contact the HP website and download the latest version of that ROM. The second preliminary task is to set up the calculator properly. We have already seen how to do that in a previous video. However, let's check that once again. I click on mode. Check that there are radians as the angle measure in here. We go to the CAS, clicking. And in this menu, the CAS modes, we make sure that the only one option that is checked is the one that reads approx. All the others should be blanked. Make sure of that and then click OK. OK twice. Now we want to solve this system of linear equations. Two equations and two unknowns, x and y. In the calculator, we go to the equation writer. In here, equation writer. And we type the first of the equations. 7x minus 2y. Uh, select, select, select. All of that equal to y plus 10. And that is the first of our equations. Enter. 7x minus 2y equal y plus 10. Let's go back to the equation writer to enter the second of the equations. Negative x highlight equal to 2 times x minus 5 times y. That's the second equation. Negative x equal 2x minus 5y. Those two equations are separate ones right now. We want to turn them into a system of equations. The way to do this for the HP50 is to enter them into a vector. Two elements in this case. Curly braces, two elements, type, make me an array. That array with two equations is going to be interpreted by the calculator as a system of two equations. I recommend that you store away that system for future use. Let me call that system alpha. Alpha um, x1, system x1. Enter, store. There is your system, system x1. Let's now specify for the calculator which are the variables we want to solve for x and y. x, enter, y, enter, make me a vector with two elements. We are ready. We're telling the calculator which is the system of our equations and also in another vector which are the variables we want to solve for. We go to the symbolic solver and ask for a linear solution. There. The solutions are x is 192, and y is 115. I know what some of you may be thinking. If I wrote a system of equations with two equations and two unknowns x and y, shouldn't the calculator be smart enough to realize that when I ask it to solve the system, what I want is to find the values of x and y. Why do I have to enter a vector with a unknowns x and y to tell the calculator that. 
Well, you know, the thing is the calculator is way too smart. Imagine this situation, a situation in which instead of this plus 10, we have a plus a, a third unknown a. How am I going to change this equation here? Well, there is an easy way and there's a complicated way. Let me do it the easy way. I push the down arrow like this. And by doing that, I enter in the editing mode. I go to the spreadsheet. Each one of these cells actually contains one of the equations in my system. The first one and the second equation, of course. So the width of the cells is too small to show the whole equation. But you see the equation down here. If I go with the right arrow to the next cell, like here, I see the second equation. Let's go back with the left arrow to the first one, this one. I want to edit that one. Well, I edit that with this button, edit. And in addition, I can go back and delete the 10 and type an A instead, A. And I type enter again and observe that I have changed actually the equation. Now there is an A in here. Well, do you realize that I could say I want to solve this system with three unknowns only for X and Y or for Y and A or for X and A? Let me show you. Let's say I want to solve for X and A. Let's say that we want to solve that system of equations not for X and Y, but for X and A. How do I do that? I type X. I also type apostrophe A to make me an array. And now I'm going to ask the calculator to solve that system of two equations but three symbols in it, X, Y, and Z. Solve that for X and A. Of course, we will get answers in terms of the third unknown, in terms of Y. But that is exactly what I want to show you. We go to the system solver and a linear solution is what we want. There you have it. X is 167Y and A is 867Y. Both answers are given in terms of the third unknown in our system of equations. Thank you very much.